Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to begin our discussion of uh, various women in astronomy, going back to the early Greeks. And the first astronomer we are going to look, look at was known Aglaoniki. And we'll take a look at what she was able to do and some of her some of the things we have learned about her. Now, she is a very early Greek astronomer going back to many of the astronomers, many of the male astronomers that we talk of of the same time period. And she was around the first or second century BC. Now we don't have her writings. Now this is common for many of the other uh, astronomers of this era. As you think uh, compared to current days things were not saved or saved as much and many things were recorded once and then had to be copied. So all we have is remnants of what survive and we know of this astronomer of the from the writings of Plutarch. And what she was known for was making eclipse predictions and was able to accurately predict the time and the area where lunar eclipses would be visible. So we see a lunar eclipse here as the moon moves into Earth's shadow. Now that shows that she did have an understanding of the cycles of the moon and how that worked and to be able to predict how these would work. Now, she was in some cases considered a sorceress because she had the ability to make the moon disappear from the sky. She could tell exactly when this would occur and then be able to predict when it would leave and when it would return. So this requires an accurate knowledge of things like the motions of the moon around Earth and Earth around the sun and how everything moved together to be able to predict this. Now we do know that eclipses come in cycles, but they are not the easiest thing to be able to predict in ancient times. And of course, solar eclipses especially were very terrifying to people when the sun would disappear from the sky. So the ability to be able to predict something like a lunar eclipse could be looked at as sorceress back here looking thousands of years ago. Now, Currently in her honor there is a crater on Venus that is named after her and that is shown here to the far right. So the one crater over here was named in honor of this early Greek astronomer Al Gonike. Now let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we've learned here. And what we show is that we talked about Algonike as one of the early Greek astronomers and the first of the female astronomers that we will talk about in this series. She was able to predict lunar eclipses by studying the lunar cycles and was sometimes considered a sorceress for her ability to be able to make the moon disappear from the sky. So that concludes this uh, lecture on Aglonike. We'll be back again next time for another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.